Hey everybody. Uh, as you know, I'm Marie, and what I want to do today is I want to make a video time capsule entitled Dear My Future Self. I know, it sounds weird, but um, I encourage everyone else to do it too. So if you're watching this video, I want to see you do a time capsule video. Because <laughs> that'd be cool. Imagine like 10, 15 years from now, us logging into Facebook or whatever, if it's still around, and watching this. So anyways, I wanted to say, dear future self, hi, I'm Marie, as you already know. <laughs> right now, I am 23 going on 24, and, um, I got a lot going on right now. Did a lot of traveling to a lot of places. So, since this point, since I'm 23 now, how much traveling have you done to my future self? I don't know, it sounds weird asking your future self or answering to your past. But, um, so, I'm 23, still live at home with the family, travel, work, uh, I don't know. It's crazy. It's fun. It's interesting. But, um, so, there's a lot of people going around. It's 4th of July, uh, July 4th, 2014, so. Just in case you don't know. It's also your birthday in a couple months. So go with you. 25. Well, 25 this year. Whatever year you're looking at the video, I don't know. But go you. You're awesome. Um, just remember, keep your head held high. As they say. And uh, stay positive. I mean, you got a lot going on for you. Still right now. There's a lot. In fact, I'm going to show you something. And I don't know if by the time you watch this, you'll have it finished or not. Let me show you. So, my future self. Um, you have been studying for your CDL. I don't know if you would remember this, depending on if you got it or not. I don't know, <laughs> but that's what you're doing right now. You're studying to go get your CDL to start your career. Um, you work at a nursing home currently because you're starting a career. Um, so you're just working to get by for the moment until your career actually starts. And, uh... You're doing a lot of traveling. In fact, you've traveled to the entire Upper East Coast and part of the Middle East Coast. And obviously, by the time you watch this video, you'll be probably done traveling to the rest of the U.S. So, go you. Um, there's only a, a handful of states that you haven't been in at this time. And, uh, you're actually traveling next week. Uh, not you, because you're my future, but I'm traveling next week. Cool. Um, as of right now, you do have a boyfriend. And you do love him a lot. I wish I had a picture of him right now to show you. But I don't think I do. Wait. Hold that thought. If I can find my camera, yes, I got a camera. Um, I could show you who you're dating. It might not come out look good because the screen's kind of broken. But um, let me go down and around. Just give me a couple seconds. You have passion for music and going to see bands play live. So I mean, you've got a lot of stuff on this camera. 
you can't really see it, but I can. I'm trying to find a good picture of him for you to actually view. Because his face is canceled out of most of these pictures because you broke your screen. So, um, like I said, it'll just give me like a minute. I'm fast forwarding through your trip when your grandparents came up for the first time. And all the things that you guys did. Uh, right now I think I'm on to some pictures, but you will see the person that you love. And hopefully by the time you see this video, he's the same person. Because that would be really cool. I don't know. Um, but you'll see. Ah, here. Here he is. His name is David. David Fairbanks. I don't know how well <laughs> that was. That was a rainy day when you two climbed Mount Mansfield. Um, but, yeah, you guys did a lot together. And you probably still are if you're still together. Um, I'm trying to find a better picture of him. There, there's that smile that you're probably used to seeing. He's got a good smile. So... Anyways, aside from that, um, the next thing I want to show you, I don't know if by the time you see this if you'll still have the passion for it, but like I said, you have a good music passion. And uh, currently, one of the biggest music passions you have is with your friend's band, All Time Low. Yes, I'm holding up their CD and I am their friend. It's, you'll get, you'll probably used to it by now. Chances are they probably went to your wedding. <laughs> no, I'm just uh, playing around. But, um, yeah, like I said, you're friends with all time. Old. Friends to the point where you've got your own backstage pass. VIP pass. Or had it. This is only for a show. But still. Um, so you, you got actually this travel kit that you bring with you to their shows because you go to a lot of the shows. At this point in time, by the age of 23, you have went to 13 of their shows in the past three years, something like that. 13 shows in three years that you've been to. That is awesome. And I must say, uh, most of those shows were in different states, which is the reason why you've traveled the Upper East Coast. You went, let me try and list them so that uh, my future self can hear it. And to everyone watching this video, I'm sorry that it's so long. But uh, you first started seeing them on July 31st of 2011. And then you saw them on uh, August 1st, 2011, which was back-to-back -back shows. Your first time doing that, which is cool. You actually took your best friend to one of those. I don't know if you remember it. But uh, July 31st was in Boston at the Bank of America Pavilion. Which is awesome. It was a good show. It was opened. And uh, you did an FYE signing that day. But, uh, well, yeah. Uh, the next day, like I said, August 1st, 2011, you took your best friend to the show. And it was Hampton Beach Casino. Or Hampton Beach Casino Ballroom, whatever it technically is called. And, um, you actually bumped into the guitarist in the middle of a pedestrian walkway, which was cool, or a crosswalk as technically they call it, but um, yeah, so that was awesome. And then you also saw them on August 1st, I mean, August 3rd, sorry future self, you saw them on August 3rd in uh, Wallingford, Connecticut. So right there, you have New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut. So it's cool. And uh, later on that year, I believe it was like November 18th, I want to say. I'm not a thousand percent sure. But you also met them in Providence, Rhode Island. Which was cool. Because you had your first meet and greet there with All Time Law, which was awesome. It was actually at my favorite venue called Lupo's Heartbreak Hotel. It was 
I love that venue. It's got such an old feel to it. I don't know if it'll still be around by the time you view this. I, I really don't know. Um, but aside from that, the uh, next show you went to was actually in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. I know! You traveled to Canada the first time. And, um, it was to see Simple Plan, but All Time Low was opening up. So your main reason for going there was All Time Low. You went there, you saw them open up, and you had a pizza party with Simple Plan. So, uh, that was cool. And David from Simple Plan did some pretty cool things for you. And uh, he helped you a lot getting around the subway system and helped you get back home, kind of, because you didn't know the metro. So, he rode the metro with you and showed you what your stop was. So, that was awesome. Uh, and then, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh... Ooh, you saw them in uh, Warp Tour, but I I want to say it was July nineteenth, two thousand twelve. Oh, and for the record, the show that you saw them in Montreal was two twenty three twelve, I believe. This is like jogging through my memory, so I want to say it was July nineteenth, two thousand twelve. Could be wrong, but uh, you could check that out if you totally want to. It's on your Facebook. Um, there's pictures and everything. You did a FYE signing there. Well, not an FYE signing. It was a regular, like, meet and greet Kia. But you had fun. It was your first Warped Tour. That was good. Um, then after that, you had a show in November for them. But I, I think it was the 18th. I'm not so sure. It was around Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving was early that year, so it was like 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, somewhere around there. Uh, if you, Like, again, if you wanted to go look at your Facebook, it actually has like a, an album with a date in the pictures from the show. And um, you had another meet and greet there, and that was pretty cool. So you had fun, you talked to the band, and uh, yeah. So after that... You went to two back-to-back -back shows, which was, uh, one was in Burlington, Vermont, which I actually have the show flyer for. So, bear with me for a minute, please, future self, because you will think this is pretty cool, and you might geek out at it. It's buried behind a lot of stuff in your new room, which... There. This is the actual show flyer. I don't know if you'll still own this by now. But, um, yeah. It was January 15th, 2013. Um, so, you did that. And you met with your best friends at the time. Well, they're still kind of now close friends. And you guys had a blast! You actually got to see All Time Low play a song for you before they played the show. Sadly, Yellow Card was not at this date like it lists because it goes Yellow Card Rock Duffer. See? First one says All Time Low .com, Facebook All Time Low, and then Yellow Card Rock. But that's okay that you didn't see them at that show because the next day on January 16th in Montreal, you went Obviously, you went to Montreal. Uh, that was a hectic ride because there was a lot of complications for everything. And you did not like that. You were tired by the time you got there. And a lot of things were going bad for you by the time you got there. Like uh, your hotel, eh, credit card declined, and a lot of other things that you just couldn't help. So, uh, But you let through it because you're a warrior and... Uh, I love myself, so <laughs> I could say I love you, um, which sounds awkward when I'm just talking to myself, you know? But anyways, back to the show. You had a fir uh, fun time. It was your first time seeing Yellow Card, and yeah, that was cool. And the hotel that you were staying at, weirdly enough, was a step away from the venue. Like, you step out of the venue, and you take a step, and your, ven your hotel's right there. 
it was awesome. Um, I prefer that hotel from now on. I, I don't know that you continue going to that hotel. Because I don't know by the time you watch this if it's taken down or if you don't go to Montreal anymore. So, um, but yeah, as of right now, I love that venue and I love that hotel. It suits me perfectly and fits me well. So, um, anyways, so the next show you went to, let's see, April 20 something, April 26th. That's right, April 26th because uh, the Boston bombing happened. And it was a week after the Boston bombing. <sighs> That's a sad show. Uh, all the bands, they donated all the money to the Boston One Fund. And uh, probably still going by the time you visit this video. The One Fund's probably still around. And um, so that was a show to remember that was. Um, hmm, what was the show after that? Oh! The show after that was in October. It was House Party Tour. October 8th. House Party Tour. Which uh, had a day to remember. Which was really cool. Because I've liked them for a while and I got to see them. And you enjoyed yourself because you met up with your friend Nikki. And you guys had fun. And you ended up going backstage completely drunk. Don't know if you want to remember that. <laughs> but you... Uh, you got backstage and you had a meet and greet with the band <laughs> and uh, as you can tell right now you're crazy for all time low so mm. you can't help it uh, the show after that actually was just recently I might be getting my dates wrong let me see possibly because you had the New Hampshire show you had the Boston show, you had the Connecticut show, then you had a Rhode Island show, then you had the Montreal, then you had Boston, then you had, um, Caledon? Hold on. I'm bad at this. I need, like, an actual visual reminder. But I do know you went to 13 shows currently. A lot of them were, like, Boston, New Hampshire, Portland, Maine, New York, Connecticut, all around that area. Vermont, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Around that area, so... If you ever wanted to like double check, you can just look on your Facebook. I actually have a, a suitcase. I don't know if you remember the suitcase by now, but it has the dates listed with the shows. It doesn't have the past two ones, so I gotta add those. And um, so yeah, a little jog down memory lane. You had fun though at all the shows that you went to. Like I'm, like I said before in the video. In fact, you're going next week to Baltimore. Well, I shouldn't really say next week. <laughs> but, um, July 12th, 2014, you're going to be in Baltimore. And right now, you are very excited. Uh, so, what music do you like now? What things do you like now? Is there any specifics that you like? I can't even guarantee that this video will post to Facebook. But I'll try my hardest. I don't know. Just like I'll try in life. I promise to you to try my hardest and everything. And if I don't succeed, then I will accept failure. And I hope from now on that uh, life will treat me really good and I hope that I get everything that I need in life I don't say everything that I want because you can never get everything that you want in life you have to work for what you want so I hope that I can achieve that and 
I just hope for what everyone helps for, which is peace, love, happiness, and eventually one day I want my own children. So, I mean, hopefully that all falls into place. And hopefully I get to enjoy whatever I do for work and don't have to struggle with the 9 to 5. Um, so I pose this question to all my friends. Post a video of you talking to your future self. Because if you're watching this by now, I feel bad for you watching 20 minutes of a video. So, post a video of you talking to your future self. And let's actually make like commitments and follow up on them. I promise to my future self that I would uh, work hard and do everything I can. And I can be happy and... It's about all I can really promise because I work really hard at a lot of things, so it's uh, it's a lot to say that I'll work at it and I'll keep doing what I do best, which is make people happy. And I like to have people happy and make people laugh and just not take life so seriously. Just take it as it comes and deal with everything that you have. And I know it sounds really weird, but um, there's a lot of things you got in life. So you should appreciate it all. And um, you know, I'll see what comes in the future. Hopefully, uh, you can. Hopefully, you're married by the time you watch this. Hopefully, you have kids by the time you watch this, whether adopted or your own. You've had a plan for a while to consider adoption, so hopefully I can go through with that. And hopefully you have your own house, your full-time job that you're happy in, um, and everything that you need for things. You're always a person that wants to give people everything, and you don't really focus on yourself. You focus on other people's happiness. So hopefully my future self will focus on my happiness and everyone else's happiness and make sure everyone's taken care of and um, love life to the fullest. I hope you travel a lot. I hope you laugh a lot. I hope you have fun. I hope you create memories. I hope you make an impact on the world, which I know you have already for a lot of people. Uh, you're actually a mentor right now. And you're changing somebody's life as we speak. Hopefully. So, uh, I love you. As odd as it sounds. And, um, we'll see what happens in our future. Hopefully, by the time you view this, you can make another one to your future self. And another one. And spread it on your family. And have everyone do it. So, um, as they say... In a lot of videos. Bye bye future self. See you next time. Or this time. Or next time. Make a video for yourself. And post questions and answer them for your future self. Bye bye.